Can we just like turn around and go for a sale now? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could. But I thought we'd do some um, parking practice and boat hanging. Yeah, let's practice. do that. Then can we go out for a sale? <laughs> we'll probably run please, out. Please, Daddy, time. please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> we'll be good, we promise. It's been a long time. Okay, so now Later. I'm not moving. We are world towning. Jessica, Will, Avalon, and Largo. Our family has been traveling the world since 2014 until COVID hit. Rather than return to the U.S., we decided to buy a boat and learn to sail in France. Hit the subscribe button and join us every Friday when we share our stories as a liveaboard family while experiencing cultures from around the world. Patience is a virtue, or at least that's what they say. I instead like to say that patience is a muscle, one that must be exercised to be maintained. And in our case, as we have traveled around this world, we have come to realize that with just a little bit of work, being patient can really pay off huge dividends when the going gets tough. For the last two and a half months, we have been patiently awaiting for COVID restrictions to loosen up enough here in France so that our sailing instructor can show up to teach us how to use our new home beyond the marina. We exercised our patient's muscles so much that we almost tore a ligament or brain tissue or whatever it's called that you tear when patience is stretched to the limit. Now that our instructor Brad is here, it's time to jump right in. But will we dive right in with warm sunset cruises in the tropics? <laughs> I wish, but not quite. Join us as we patiently start our certification course so that we soon can take friendship out for lifelong adventures. Welcome to day one of our sailing classes. Today we are going to talk about safety on the boat, which is my favorite thing. I think it's the area I'm the most versed in too. Yay, I might get some questions right. Number two, we're gonna look at the engines and discuss the engine. And I think we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance and then we might um, practice docking the boat if we have enough time that might end up being till tomorrow. So I'm ready guys. I look happy, I look rested. I don't know how I'm gonna look nine days from now, but I'm super excited. I was even up last night practicing my knots again. One thing for sure is we're eating like mad. Oh gosh, that's what sailors do. They cook good meals and they eat a lot because they gotta be strong. So we started the day the way any good sail should start, with a safety review. Well, the first aid kit is, have you got the first aid kit? I know the answer. And everyone okay. needs to know where it is. I don't. I do. We actually have two. Right. So we have, just so everyone else knows, this one is in the new medical kit, the new medical cupboard. I organize everything in bins. I don't know where that is. It's Under right here. Oh. So gas alarm goes off. Gas alarm goes off. Everyone puts on life jackets and gets outside apart from someone opening all the hatches up to ventilate the cabin. So uh, should in, we in, do a gas drill? It's not a with bad our kids idea. At, yeah. Like in the middle of the night some night? What? Yeah. No. No, oh, that will scare me so badly. It's like a fire drill. I mean, they yeah. you know? always tell me it's coming. They tell you when fire drills are coming. So yeah. we've basically taken ourselves throughout all the inside stuff, learning about what we should have, what we don't have, safety stuff, anecdotes of death and destruction that'll make us spend a whole lot more money. And now it's time to go ahead and figure out what's actually on the boat, like on the outside, because, well, He's gonna be responsible for us. He wants to make sure that we have, we have everything working properly, which fingers crossed, sort of after the surveyor and after him, we're gonna be all set. And then the safety discussions branched out to the outside as we discussed the future placement of the safety lines, better known as jack stays. You can run them from back here right up to the front of the boat so you can get right up to your anchor. Where do you hook them, right here? Well, until we I get them out, we won't know where they fix okay. them. In bad weather, it's good practice to clip on as you come out of that doorway. Okay. Um, so that's our rule. Clip on as we come out of the door. Um, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that, that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you know, it might be once you start Mark, sailing, you realize that some of these off. things aren't necessary. I would argue that at night, if you're out here, you must be clipped on no matter what, because if you fall overboard at night, you are gonna die. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. That's encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we still had not finished our laundry, but the discussion soon moved to the bow as we took a look at the anchor. How is your anchor chain marked? Uh, it's marked every five. Every five meters. Every five meters with oh. um, like a little color. Stuff we tied to this, and then the obviously we'll memorize this at some point. 
but three. Oh, I haven't, I haven't actually opened these. There we go. There's a chart right here. Five meter, 10, 15, 20, and it's colored. Right. Is that what you meant? Is that yeah. the question you're asking? But then it was time to clean out the cockpit, get ready, and start learning about the selling parts of our new home. So, it was time to show off our incredible knot tying skills. Your main sailing ropes all want a figure of eight knotting because you don't want it to, to disappear through. out of there. Right. Got a challenge for you. Yeah. With the bowline. You need to do it with your eyes closed just in case you lose your sight at sea. I think we'd have bigger problems to deal with in that case, but... You're up for the challenge. Ooh, you even took your glasses down. Look at that. And you gotta do it in under 10 seconds. That's not funny. Mama takes you like 10 minutes. Don't get me started. Listen, I haven't been practicing as much. Neither I have it. I. Have on your eyes were open the let's, entire time. No, they weren't. What are you talking let's about? See, have, let's Mommy see, let's see, let's see. TikTok. Ooh, very nice. Wait, no. Which one are you doing now? Figure eight. Okay, figure eight. I did it. So, to go ahead and get ourselves a better feel of what's going on here with this boat, we are now taking out the mainsail because it's time to uh, to figure out what on earth we have ahead of us. Remember, the last time we actually brought out the sails was during our, 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 our test sail during the sea trial. So, uh, it's almost like brand new for us. I'm so excited. This is proof, again, that we actually do have a sailboat. <laughs> Instead of just a floating... <laughs> and we do have an instructor. <laughs> You cannot imagine how excited we were to take the mainsail out. Even though we were still tied down, it was only a matter of time until we opened the sails to actually go somewhere. Woohoo! She's out! Yay! I think pull in a little more. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how happy I am to see her out like that. The, the red and black one pulls the sail out. The yellow line is the reefing line. And you've then got to play around with locking off the reefing line and then tensioning up the foot of the sail to get it nice and flat without overstretching it. So, so far you're still saying that we have a sailboat? <laughs> yeah, well you've got to catch sailing catamaran. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this makes me so happy. So essentially what we're discovering at this point is that we don't have any reef marks on our mainsail, which doesn't seem like a hard thing to do. A sharpie should do it. I'll climb up there with a sharpie. Maybe a, uh, maybe we could put like some cool little logo design on it. What, what you normally have on, on roll of is you'll have a red tape sewn onto the sail for, for the first reef and okay. two for the second and three for the third or something. Let's put a little mark. A black mark and then... I can put down the chart here how many it each has. I don't need to write it on there. I can just put the marks, right? Yeah, because yeah. if, if there's two I'll more still visible, yeah, you, know, you know you're on the first reef. Yeah. So, um, Sounds like a fun project. We really need to do it when we're out sailing. Okay. But after a few moments of contemplating our lines and having a not so quick tea, it was time to get the boat moving to see what she could do in the marina. We're getting ourselves ready to take off. We're going on a long ride, huh? We are? That's news to me. We're going to the gas station. It's probably the longest ride she's been on with us, right? You're taking your position as, as passenger? No! <laughs> I just put my shoes on. No one sits on this ship. I run a tight ship. Even though I'm not the captain. So, we'll get off of here. We'll take the boat over to the fuel dock. We'll park it there. Um, so, what I want is um, Avalon to deal with the midships rope there, you to deal with the bow rope, and they're set up as slips, and that means they are slips, but there's a real temptation to just try and flick it off the end of the cleat, rather than pulling all the rope through. Never do that. Never flick. Because you can guarantee you'll flick it off, and you'll flick a little half hitch around the end of the cleat, and then we're in the poo. Okay. Stand by your ropes, you can slip you that one. one yeah. Slip the bow line. <laughs> that's, the, that's the stern line, don't slip that one yet. Okay. Oh, slip, sorry, slip the middle sorry. one. When you look at moments line. in a life, I think this is one that will go down in the permanent archives. As a family, we were able to run the lines to get off the dock, and we didn't mess it up much. I feel that we are that much closer to getting to the Caribbean. Look at you, smooth as butter. Look at that. 
How's it going there, Largo? Good. Where are we going next? To refuel and then back. We're going to the gas station. That's mm -hmm. it? That's it. Can we get a little more creative? Nope. Go to the gas station. Do they at least have, do you have potato chips there? No. I don't think they do. Beef jerky? Nope. Starburst? Bonely. Chocolate? I think they only sell gas. Chocolate for boats. Trying to wake up from a dream It's harder than it seems Birds are flying As much as it feels like this journey to the gas station is a journey of epic proportion mm -hmm. It's not. It's really not. It's kind of like, like, I don't know, if you were to swim, how long would it take to swim it? A while, depending on the winds and the tides and all the other sailory stuff. No, we gotta go. Hold on. We're, we just got here. Short ride. Look at Margo, he's all ready to go. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? I'm, re I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. What do you see there? They do have drinks and stuff. They do. What are you gonna get? Nothing. Because we could have just walked here anyway and I'm not hungry. And we have our house right here full of free food. What? Well, grape, food we've already grape paid soda? for. What? Grape soda. Orange no, soda. No. Ice That's tea. like 70s gas station stuff. Listen, I grew up on that stuff. I know. This is a new experience for us. Boating or motoring into the gas station. Did you bring your wallet? Are you serious? <laughs> Did you forget it at home? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, love this new life of ours. The cheesy humor never ever ceases to amaze us. Good job, guys. Look at that. And what did you contribute? I recorded this thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the key component of this entire operation. How do you know when it's getting full? Is there any type of gauge? You just hear it. Oh, okay. Did it sound like it was pretty empty? About a third of the way down by the looks of things. So after a much needed top off, it was finally our turn at the wheel. I'm taking us off the dock for the first time. I'm a little nervous, but I think I've got the steps down in my head. So here we go. Margo, flip it off, please. <laughs> a good Captain Lee thing to say. <laughs> There's nothing that brings you back to those days of high school driver's education than learning to take the boat off the dock. Step three is slipping off the stern. Ellie, you want to slip off the stern? Yes. Step four is giving the starboard a little bit of gas. Just click it, slip the stop, kick the starboard engine into gear. Right now? Okay. I haven't done this yet, so I don't want to push anything too wrong. No. Is it just, just, just a little? Forward. You'll feel it okay. click. Give me that one. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Keep going. You'll feel it click. Okay, so, yeah. Don't touch the wheel at all or? Don't need to. Okay. What step are we on? Four? Yeah. Ooh, look we'll out. I'm going to want to do this all the time now, Will. <laughs> You're welcome to it. <laughs> it's not so scary after you do it once. With okay. all the husband and wife teams that I have, invariably the wife is better at boat handling than the men. I'm, I am a better parallel parker than Will. Yeah. We, women just seem to have a feel for parking boats. Men seem to be better at the sailing side of it and sort of the intuition of what the sails are doing but... So this is a way to reduce a lot of fights that I park, he sails. <laughs> it's what should happen anyway. You should always have the strongest person de dealing with the ropes. Oh boy then that's Avalon. <laughs> She's got like superhero strength. So now that we are done with the fuel dock, we are, well, we're going to take the boat, whoa, shadow. We're going to take the boat out for a ride and we're going to give each of us a chance to get our motor legs going on because, well, if you can't get in and out of the marina, you can't go out sailing. So we're starting off with sort of lesson one, which is learning how to turn. It sounds like it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, it's, it's a big boat. It is, it's a big boat to us. God, the kids look so happy. <laughs> it's a welcome change from sitting in front of the computers all day. 
It sure is. Are you claiming this is your spot, Avalon? Um, I haven't decided whether I want this side or that side yet, but one of them will be mine. We could use a label maker and put your name on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> What do you and think? then I could say, yes, this is my seat. It has my name on it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you can actually use that term. Mm -hmm. So Ella is getting her go at trying to drive the boat. So where do I go? Um, can I just chuck this out here so that it's not in the way of the throttles? Right, well, take us down there. If someone had told me when I had Avalon, our first child, that she would learn to drive a boat before a car, I would have said, no way. And right now, I went, then Will went, and I was like, we said, should we let Avalon go? And he, she's like popped up from the front and ran. Like, yes, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so I have to turn, so I put this one forward and that one back. Yeah, watch behind you though, you've got a boat just here. It's exciting. Just into neutral, that's it. Just so it turns a little bit more. And then when you're in the middle, straighten it up and you can then drive that way. So put that one into forwards, bring that one back, that's it. If it's not turning, just a little bit of reverse, that's it. After we got the hang of driving around the marina, it was time to practice some parking maneuvers. We're now doing some backup exercises and he wanted us to land with the center of the boat in the center of one of the gas tanks. And I was over a bit, um, Alba was over a bit, but she went in much smoother than I did. I did not, only because you had already set it up for me. It's <laughs> pretty cool though. We all took our turn at driving the boat and then it was Largo's turn. Go ahead. All right, oh my gosh, Largo. Can you see over Largo? Okay, this is not the dinghy. <laughs> Faster's not better. So slow down a bit. Slow down. Let's just stop the boat turning a bit. That's probably enough. Right. Forwards with the other engine as well. But my favorite part of the docking exercises was practicing a special technique used by novices. We had to get good at lassoing the docking line around the cleat. Not a word. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think we weren't close enough, Dave, anyway. We can't eat dinner until you get it, Avalon. Stop it, <laughs> <laughs> No pressure, honey. I'd like to come see you try we, it. We got, <laughs> we got 20 minutes till it's dark. <laughs> Stop it, Mom. <laughs> there and the enough. idea of trying to lasso ourselves on is that if we're on a like a windward docking, which means like the wind's like in our face and it's hard to actually get ourselves to the side of the dock. If we can get ourselves tied on to at least the cleat from here through a very strategic throw by a very skilled lassoer <laughs> by, so if, by you, <laughs> if you have rodeo experience, you'd be very good at this. Exactly. <laughs> We're, we're from, we're, we're, we don't have rodeo experience. <laughs> but Avalon, Avalon on the other hand, she's a... Neither, I do not have rodeo experience either. She's a natural, huh? Either now or never. Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh, <laughs> oh, this time you hit the dog, you almost had it. Knowing that lassoing this cleat may be the difference between passing or failing this course, I would not give up. Get ready. So on my last try, this happened. That's a mommy moment. Stop it! Are you serious? How do you feel about your daughter right now? I'm super proud of her. Now we're gonna have dinner. <laughs> it's 10 p.m. now. With that, we are done with our first yet crucial day of training. Are you worn out now, Avalon? <laughs> you did it! And even though we did not get out of the marina, it was the exact start that we needed. I feel like I'm a teenager that still is like learning. And you did it. 
Thank you. You were very serious, yeah. and I'm proud of you. I know. And we'll still make out the backseat, <laughs> but, but that's okay. We all got to take our hand maneuvering the boat, and we are better sailors today than we were yesterday. How's it feel? Scary. <laughs> no, it feels, it feels a little bit like a car in that way, but... They say that Rome was not built in a day, but they were laying bricks every hour, and today we laid down the most crucial bricks needed for this life, the foundation. Did I do it right? There is still a long way to go, but for now we will enjoy the spectacular sunset. Oh my gosh, what a first day, Jess. I'm cold, Listen, I'm tired, and I'm grumpy. We are, <laughs> we're not sitting at the couch, it's late. The lights are out. Everyone's in bed right now. And this is going to be our next sate as we go through our lessons. Yeah, I think you're going to see a couple of videos, however many we do for the lessons of us in bed at night, because I can't bring myself to sit at that table, put up all the lights at 10 o'clock at night. The good news is I feel, I mean, it was the big, first day and we didn't even go out on the water, but... We didn't go and see the engine. We just, we just... <laughs> <laughs> we just learned about safety and then did pontoon bashing, but don't which you, scared the living daylight out of me. It was scary, and I, I know we're just in the first day, so I feel pretty optimistic. Like, I mean, we didn't do much, but I do feel optimistic that, that we can do this and it's not going to kill us. We might freeze to death because a cold front is coming in, guys. But other than that, Brad's cool. He knows his stuff, mm -hmm. so as long as we pay attention and... I don't think that we're going to record this entire thing because we have to have our head in the game. However, yeah. um, we're going to we're going to record a couple more days of this sailing, learning how to experience because I think it, there's a lot a lot of posterity that's going to be gained from all this. I want to definitely be able to see our growth when I look back right? on this. For us, you know? maybe I don't know about for you guys, but definitely for us. <laughs> but and um, I think that's oh, it. I forgot what I was going to say. No, entire. that's it. We're done. We're done. <laughs> All right, we're ending this vlog like right here. Thank you for watching, guys. And we'll and see you in the next episode. With Just like a pro, Jess. <laughs> I think I pulled a muscle already. I need you to move, or when I jump on, you're going to be in the water. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what do you think so far? I know it's day one, but do you like it? It is cold. It's night to a great week, guys. We're happy to have you here, Brad. And um, I'm sure it's going to go smashing. Not too smashy. Right, we're going to smash the hole.